Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. So last year I made a recipe of a cornbread video. A lot of you guys were telling me that was a cake video. Well today we are back. I'm going to show you guys how to make this delicious sweet potato cornbread cake. Okay, it's a cake. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know down below if you're going to try it. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new here, like this video if you enjoy it, and let's dive in. We're going to jump right into it. So I have my sweet potatoes already boiled. So I use two sweet potatoes, just boil them with plain water. And this is it right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to grab your hand mixer and mix it together, or you can use a stand mixer. Once it's nice and smooth, just like that, you are going to start making the cake. So to make the cake, this is like a pound cake, okay? So it's not like your regular cake, it's pound cake. So you want to use one stick of melted butter, unsalted. I'm going to add sugar, and also we are going to be adding two eggs in there. Crack that in. Now, I am going to grab my hand mixer once more and mix it up together until everything is well combined a little bit like this, okay? Once you have a consistency like this, you're going to add in the sweet potato puree. Now, if you don't like to boil your sweet potatoes, you can also buy it in the can. You know, it will do the same thing, okay? Basically, I'm going to add about one cup of that potato puree right in there also i'm going to be adding some vanilla extract as well as some oil now the oil will make the cake nice and moist and also this is the key ingredients also that's going to make this is super moist okay it is buttermilk i'm going to pour all of that in there gradually add a little bit of that mix it together and add it you know that's how i'm going to add it in so once i have it all mixed in i am going to be grabbing my dry ingredients okay the dry ingredients i'll be using is fine cornmeal and also all-purpose flour next i'm going to add nutmeg and cinnamon now the nutmeg is extremely strong so a little bit goes a long way i'm also going to be adding salt just to balance all the sugar in there and also some baking soda i'm going to use my whisk to mix everything in and then we're going to gradually add in our dry ingredients as you can see i'm adding in the buttermilk and also i'm going back to the dry ingredients it's because this recipe i basically try to come up with the like measurement and it's like so perfect because i did make something similar to this last year i kind of go with some of the measurement and i included some of my own measurement to this so i basically come up with this whole cake situation i hope you guys enjoy it and if you have not seen my 1 million plus uh, cornbread sweet potato cornbread recipe from last year please go check it out there was a lot of talking under that video okay so this is the consistency we have you see it's nice and cake like right it's like it's not really cake like it's like a i don't know pink cake batter like so i'm going to add some butter to my baking dish and then i'm going to pour in the cake batter all right You can add some food coloring in there but you know it was the color was on point to me okay so i'm going to give it a little shake to remove any air bubbles and then we are oh i'm talking look at me i was talking on the phone i don't know 
maybe i was talking to my husband but we're going to bake this okay we're going to bake this on 350 as you can see and keep keeping an eye on this i'm going to bake it for about 20 minutes and i make sure to use a toothpick or a fork to insert in there to see if it comes out clean if it comes out clean baby your cake is ready so i'm going to flip it over so it can cool down because that thing was hot Hot, okay and I'm going to be working on my icing while that is cooling down tap 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 and take a good look at this beautiful Ooh, it's so hot but we're going to set that aside and now I'm going to be working on my icing. I'm using a cream cheese icing. If you like, you can use just um, powdered sugar and milk for the icing, but I wanted this to have a, um, this is a dessert by the way. It's not really something you can put next to collard greens or anything. It's an actual dessert. So I'm making a cream cheese icing. So I'm using powdered sugar, softened cream cheese, a little bit of, vanilla extract and some milk you can use whole milk or evaporated milk mix it together and basically this is your icing very easy oh look at that it's so hot it looks good the colors on point the consistency is on point it it has a perfect bunk cake consistency it looks so good it smells so good okay um let me know if you guys want to try this uh, for thanksgiving it gives the consistency of a bunk cake like a lemon cake consistency love 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 it it was so tasty i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving please don't forget to check out my thanksgiving playlist i will post it under this video for you if you're making thanksgiving this year you definitely need to check it out thank you for watching happy thanksgiving Okay guys, it's time to try this sweet potato cornbread. It looks so, so yummy. Oh my gosh, let's give it a try. Mm. Wow, this is good. It's nice and moist. You can taste the sweet potato, like it's very strong. The flavor, oh yeah. If you like sweet potato pies, sweet potato dessert, you're gonna like this one for sure. Mmm, and the icing makes it 10 times better. You have got to try this recipe. And also, if you have not done so already, please don't forget to hit this video a thumbs up for me. That helps me out a lot. It helps you to push out my videos to more people like you. And don't forget to leave a comment if you're going to try this out. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye, guys.